What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another best tweaks video. Now quickly before I get into the tweaks, I do wanna mention uh, that I am covering a ton of tweaks on iOS 14. Uh, I'm doing top best videos like this where I briefly cover the tweaks. I am also doing full on reviews of the tweaks where I break them down and show you guys how they work, uh, basically head to toe. And uh, if you guys like these type of videos, be sure to check out that playlist link. Like I said, you guys can discover a lot more iOS 14 tweaks there. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna jump into this. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, tweaks on two different devices, my iPhone 10 and also my 10s Max there. Um, the, the 10 is on 14.3 with check rain and the 10s Max is on, I believe 14.0.1 with uncover. Now, some of the tweaks actually uh, that work on the 10 don't work on the 10s max because it is on 14.01 so some of these actually don't work like 14.2 and older uh, so we are waiting for updates on those uh, but anyways uh, on the 10 here the first thing you guys are probably noticing is the fluid widget um, on the home screen that's basically the very cool looking flashes of smoky fluid color that you guys are seeing and the way i have that enabled is with zen html Another tweak, I've covered this in the past. It's definitely worth having on iOS 14. It is broken on older iOS 14 versions, uh, but it does work on 14.3, so take note on that. Uh, but like I said, I'm using the Ryu uh, 6 Fluid Widget, as you guys can see there. And a little side note, if you guys go into Zen HTML, you can click on the little gear, and you can make edits to this widget if you guys want to adjust any of its settings. It's a kind of a cool little trick that not a whole lot of people know about. Uh, but again, this is the Fluid Widget and Zen HTML. Next up, we got another very simple tweak. If I open up multitasking, it's called Quit All. It just gives you a little clear button up in the status bar there. And once you click on the clear button, it kills all apps from multitasking. Super handy to have called Quit All. Another really cool tweak on iOS 14 is called Dope Convos. So if we go into my messages application here, as you guys can see, my messages looks totally different. And this is because of Dope dope convos so as you can see you can change the background you can change accent coloring uh, this has the normal blue but you can change any of these colors to whatever you want you can change the background there's a ton of really cool options and again that's called a dope convos really quickly here before i switch over to the 10s max uh, the theme that i'm using is called gatu i'll leave it listed in the description i know a lot of people are going to ask me about that and then this widget is actually from a app store application called carrot weather so this is from that app and it's available in the App Store. I knew people would ask me about that as well. It's called Carrot and it's available in the App Store. All right, now we are on the 10s Max. Uh, one cool thing about Alt Store is you can have a widget there for Uncover so you guys can see uh, how many days until your certificate is revoked on it. Uh, very cool, I like having that. Um, but if we go into messages here, so first up is DocX. As you guys can see here, it gives you some added functionalities to the lower portion of your your iPhone 10 and up style keyboard. Normally that's blank. Doc X puts some very useful buttons there like copy, paste, cut, um, redo, uh, redo, go back, go forward basically. Um, and it's very, very useful for copying and pasting. And it's a very handy little shortcut to have below your keyboard. Again, that's called a Doc X. Another tweak is Emoji Font Manager and the Joy Pixel emojis as you guys can see here my emoji does look different than stock and i absolutely love the way these uh joy pixel emojis look i think they look so much better than stock ios as you guys can see there very very cool uh, i did a full tutorial on how to get this again it'll be on that playlist link in the description and then another one is the uh, keyboard here this is with the tweak latest and the theme is by another youtuber called reboot so big shout out to reboot again for this keyboard i think it looks absolutely awesome and i love using it again i've done full tutorials on this keyboard and those emoji uh, so if you guys want to find out more details check the link in the description next up we got prism this is probably going to be the control center for ios 15 so if you guys want to get it before ios 15 you can get it and it's a tweak called prism so like it's like I said here, it replaces your stock normal control center. As you guys can see, I have it enabled to pull up on the lower right, which I think is so much easier to get to than that upper right corner. I hate trying to swipe there, especially with the with the Mac size devices. It's really quite annoying, but uh, it allows you to change control center. There are a ton of different themes for Prism. There's 
full control over the colors and everything you can think of with Prism. You can move all the modules, you can move everything around. It's definitely super powerful and I highly recommend it. And lastly, I got Zebra. And I wanted to mention Zebra because it's my package manager of choice. This is basically a Cydia replacement and it does everything Cydia does plus a whole lot more. Now, don't get me wrong, I know Cydia is fast on iOS 14. I have used it quite a bit and I was actually using it long before I used Zebra on the 10 there, um, but Zebra has been updated and it's working really, really nicely on iOS 14. Like I said, you can add repos to it just like Cydia. You can actually add uh, batch repos where you add a whole bunch at once. I have a, uh, a list of all the repos I like to use. If you guys want that list, I guess I'll leave the link in the description for that as well. Uh, but I just think that the look and the feel and the functionality of Zebra is just so much better than stock Cydia. Cydia is very outdated and I think Zebra is an amazing replacement. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Those are all the tweaks I got for you uh, for this week. I'll probably do another uh, best tweaks here in just a few days. And again, like I said, as I do these, I'm adding them all to my best iOS 14 tweaks playlist. And if you guys want these wallpapers, which I'm sure some of you will, uh, you can find all my wallpapers on my Telegram. The link for that is down below as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.